vlog um, I've gotten so many comments about how I want to shape my future in this channel and I, I didn't want to sound like it was serious but I was just very tired that day because it's 7 a.m. <sighs> I didn't want to worry everyone so I'm sorry if you guys thought I was like burning myself out maybe I was at the moment but I feel better already um, I took myself a bit away from filming everything which is the reason why you will see this vlog being a very bit a little bit of everywhere because I try to put myself away from filming because I guess so I didn't want to worry about having to show you guys what my creative process was through the lens um, I thought maybe stepping out of that would help me kind of find what I want to do because I did feel like my vlogs were a little bit of everywhere but like as I took this week off a little bit I didn't but like I tried to kind of have a little bit of wiggle room I think I really enjoy showing the process, especially with printing and like painting as well, but especially with printing um, because once the layer is on, it's pretty much the same for painting as well, but like once the layer is on, you can't really tell what it was like before. And I regret not taking so many <laughs> videos of it, but still. I'm pretty happy that I took this week a little bit lightly thanks to you guys encouraging me to do it um, I just want to say that I'm very very thankful for all the support I was really really touched by many many people and I'm just very grateful and thankful that I have such a great community here um, I feel blessed you know it's like not everyone can have such a great loving community like this and I'm just glad I have this team of people <laughs> that will support me in what I do it's really really heartwarming and last week it was pretty tough for me I had many deadlines and I didn't get many things done which is a long story um, Maybe I'll do it in the future, but probably not. <laughs> um, I was having a tough time, especially last Monday. And just because of Monday, the rest of the week felt really stressful and I had a migraine. I had some stress reactions from my body as well. And I was feeling very, very bad. Um, but everything has been settled and I am feeling much better and I'm in a better place right now because one of the big deadlines is oh, like it's done for and this little thank you note to you guys because of all the support not only the co past couple of weeks but just from the beginning you know it's just sometimes I just forget that I don't I have this many people that are interested in my art and in and in what I do and and then when I hop on to YouTube I feel, I realize I have these like couple of thousand people that are really um that are really supportive and reading those comments made me realize how much I for, how much I love you guys <laughs> 
Yeah. It's um it's heartwarming. Sometimes I get overwhelmed and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. And I almost cry, but I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> um yeah, thank you and I hope you like this week's vlog. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. See you. papers and having these paper to exact to the exact size is very important because um, I will be using registration marks and these registration marks will help me out to speed the process while I while I silk screen all my layers so this is me trying my best to do it in the manual process This is me trying to sort of use the stack cutter, the manual old vintage stack cutter that we have in this studio. Um, it was a bit of a struggle to just latch this thing onto the paper because it was, it was just, I needed a lot of elbow grease and it helped me a bit with the cutting process, but it did dent the paper a bit, so I was a little bummed out. Um, but other than that, it was a pretty clean cut. I literally had to ride on the machine and put as much pressure as I can. Maybe it was my problem. I think the blade was a bit dull, so I had put more strength on it. Another problem I ran into while trying to print this was that the ink was really really dry to the point it was not silky enough to print. So I asked the TA about it and the TA basically told me to add glycerin and water into into the ink then it's gonna help out. So what I did that day was basically just test the ink to see if it worked on my screen like for three hours straight. So this is me just actually wrapping things up. I was already sick of the ink, the amount of ink that I've used and all that so I just left early that day and I was leaving early with a friend so yeah that was a wrap for Monday give a little bit of an explanation of what I'm doing for my print is that I am doing a CMYK print which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black um, basically. Um, so this print is just creating an image with just those four colors and so each layer would have a cyan or and the other layer would have magenta and the other layer would have yellow and the other layer would have black so when these layer on top of each each other it's gonna create a picture so it looks more like a photograph than other prints um, and yeah so I had a lot of trouble with cyan and after Monday, I figured out the consistency of the of the ink, and it and it worked. It worked pretty well. Um, I asked the technicians on how to do this better or not, and the technician gave me some tips, and I followed, and it worked. So 
After I finished up my three layers, actually I finished two layers. I, I ran into a problem with, with a third layer and I decided to strip my screen and basically add the last three layers of my of my print and just work on it the next day which is the Friday and the Friday is my silkscreen studio day so this is me trying to put emulsion on after stripping it so um, this is just basically emulsion so we would put like a thin layer of emulsion onto the screen and we would dry that for maybe an hour to 24 hours. It really matters on what your preferences are and how thin or thickly the emulsion is put on. My emulsion unfortunately was put on quite thickly but I did not notice it on that day. I was like, that was pretty neat. That's what I thought. And the next day when I came back to um, expose it, it was too thick. So while I was washing away the emulsion, it started to dissolve. So I had a bit of a problem. But yeah, basically you have to apply it thinly and then dry it, put your stencils on, expose it to light, and then you wash it and the exposed side would come off while the unexposed will not because they were exposed to light like they're hard as resin or something like that so that is how silk screening works now the stressful part is over i'm gonna go home now <laughs> piece for one of my classes and this is me just setting the thing up um, I had some trouble with the video because I'm using a projector and it was not um, projecting through the projector so I had to like re-render the video to see if it was the problem with the video and I did fix it I did fix it and it worked fine afterwards and this is me setting up the atmosphere for the video so basically this this installment piece um, is about the language of taste and food and how we kind of interpret it in multiple different contexts so for me when I have a certain food I would think about a certain moment and I would think about a certain person and Sometimes they're good things, sometimes they're bad, but usually when I do think of food and when I eat those food, it would bring back those memories, mostly good things, but um, yeah, just the sentiment of, of love inside food. So yeah, I just want to emphasize on the process, hence why I made a video of me cooking an ambiguous dish layered on top of each other. So the video in length was about 15 minutes long in total and yeah 
voila she is the finished piece this is my first time doing an exhibition and it was very stressful but I'm still very happy so I guess that's a plus for me <laughs> and that's gonna be all for this week uh, thank you for watching this week's video and I'll see you guys on the next one